Hey honey bunches and welcome to a very HBOT style of vlogmas. I'm going to try and do 24 days or 25 days of vlogging in a very detailed and concise manner. So my day started in its usual way. I turned on my light, put on my dressing gown and checked on my eczema patch which actually was looking a lot better than it had in the past. Then I decided my feet needed some socks so I put on my very sparkly burgundy socks and my mum's slippers but don't tell her I stole them and yes they do contain animal products but I'm not planning on actually claiming that they're mine. Then I realised my bed needed mainly, so I put back the covers and whacked on my very extensive pile of pillows. Then it was time to pick up some clothes and I then opened my wardrobe and folded them and put them in their right place. After that I headed to the bathroom, but not before putting away the sock which was holding up my camera while filming that. Opened my door, walked to the bathroom, but don't wake up mum because she's still asleep. In the bathroom I washed, brushed my teeth and did other things you do in the bathroom and while I was brushing my teeth I practiced my Cadbury ad eyebrow maneuvers which if you're from Australia you probably know what I'm talking about. And yes, there is a very long shot of me brushing my toothbrush again with water and my bum being in the prominent position of the screen. After that I washed my face with water and applied some of this apple cider vinegar toner to my face which makes me feel uber fresh. Then it was smoothie time. Out the door, turn off the light, down the stairs. But first, water time. After drinking some water, I took my probiotic capsules and apple cider vinegar outside of the fridge. And you can say what you like about my eczema routine, but taking a shot of apple cider vinegar in the morning, which does has its side effects, and one veggie probiotic has helped me immensely in reducing my eczema. Then it was time for a smoothie, and this smoothie recipe can be found in one of my HPOT journals. I can't remember which, but you're welcome to buy as many as it takes for you to find out which one. The smoothie was delicious. Then I said hi to Harvey, because I hadn't done that already. Took the smoothie into the study, and did a very mindful practice of watching some YouTube videos. Then I decided to search up the weather for Melbourne, because it can be ridiculously unpredictable. It was going to be, oh look, not very summery. Back up the stairs to get dressed. Said hi to Harvey because he was in his morning position of waiting for my mum, his favourite family member. Then onto my way to get dressed, found my mum wasn't up, and opened her louvers and turned on the radio for her. On the way out, she asked for her slippers back, so that was fun while it lasted. Then while deciding what to wear, I couldn't really find anything, so I decided to do my ironing. And yes, I have a pretty appalling ironing technique. Then satisfied, I took my pile of ironing into my room and got dressed. Into my favourite flare jeans, which had some pretty cool cups. Then it was time to braid my hair. I usually braid my hair on every second day between washes and the way I braid my hair is very unconventional. I only add new hair to one of the strands of the plait. And I did the other side of course. Then I do this thing where I pull them down so they sit at more 45 degree angles than at 90 degree angles. Now it's time for journaling. And I journal from this angle and this angle. Once journaling was done, I decided to get out my to-do list and write what I was going to try and achieve that day. After that was done, I did one more list. And this is a list I'd been meaning to do for a while because everyone seemed to be stressed that it was Christmas and we were having lots of red loops come. So I wrote down what everyone needs to do before the big day. Took that downstairs and stuck it up in a prominent position where everyone could see it. Then it was time to let the hens out, so I took off my mum's slippers and put my feet in these ridiculously oversized gum boots of my brother's. Opened the laundry door and found this guard dog in my way, but he just wanted me to throw the ball for him, so I did do that twice. Then when he was far away, I opened the chicken pen and let out these glorious women and patted those who wanted to pat. I once said hi to this one, who was being ridiculously friendly. Then I watched Harvey do this weird loopy thing to get to his ball and let him inside before making a cup of tea. My favourite tea at the moment is this hibiscus one.
Then I got into the mood to do some editing, had some porridge, and did some filming of my new series. After editing, I was ridiculously pooped and felt like a zombie, but I got to cross off many things on my to-do list, and that felt good. Then to pass time while my mum got sandwiches, I played some weird tunes on my ukulele. Played this song on the piano, which I learned by ear, and if you're wondering, is Merry Men from the TV show Robin Hood. Then this weird slow piece that I made up, and yes, I do have very odd and excessive hand rolls. Then there was this song, which I just mashed up one time, probably hearing it from some other piece. That's usually how my songs come into fruition. Then mum finally arrived home with the sandwiches, and she just got salad sandwiches, and we probably should have made them ourselves, but we were feeling lazy, and it was the 1st of December. And I decided to show you how to fold up a plastic bag in a seriously efficient manner. Perfecto. Then it was boring washing up time, so I took some artistic shots and tried to make it interesting. After I did the dishes, I found this that it came in the mail, and I got so excited I read it in the sunshine, while Harvey was particularly distracting. After that I realised it was 4 o'clock, so I ate a white peach that was actually really good, and went to do some driving practice before my test tomorrow. Then I talked to you about stuff. So, my mum has gone to withdraw some money so I can pay the driving instructor. Um, because I'm sitting my test tomorrow. So, she'll be back any minute, but I just thought I would touch on a few reasons why I'm going to attempt to do a vlogmas type thing. Um, but do it my way. So, first reason is for a creative challenge. Um, I work very well with hard and fast type rules rather than I'll try and do this, see where my motivation takes me type of thing. So I woke up this morning with the motivation to do it and I think I'll just try and see it through the best I can, but also with the rule in my head that this is what I'm doing. Another thing, reason why I'm doing it is because I haven't been uploading a lot lately and because of this eczema patch on my skin, on my cheek, which is actually healing up and it looks a lot redder in the camera than it does in real life. So win for me. I've been kind of doing an elimination diet which isn't very recipe testing or recipe filming conducive. Um, so that's another type of thing I can do to keep uploading content while still working on the other project which was going to come out mid-November and in my mind it still is mid-November but it just is suddenly the 1st of December. Yeah, it's a type of video that can work for me at this point in time and will hopefully create some entertaining content for you guys. Another reason is I still think you guys are probably like, who is this person behind the recipes? So hopefully you can get to know me better, maybe I'll just do like these random chats throughout the day. Um, but we'll see. Yo yo, I'm back. I got scared because my mum came back to the car and even though doing things in front of her. I'm the least embarrassed. Um, out of anyone, I don't know this is such an unnatural thing. So we're our next errand and I can talk. And there was one more thing I was going to say. And that is, while I think over this year I have definitely achieved a much healthier balance between that um, serious What's the word? Not dedication. It's a D, doesn't it? Discipline. <laughs> that I was talking about, and it really helped me during year 12. Um, I think to have a better work-life balance, or any balance between what you would like to do in your spare time and what you have to do for like work or education obligations or something like that, I could do better and so over this year I've definitely achieved a much better balance but I still feel kind of like I've swayed too much in the other direction and I would really like to have some more experiences before the end of this year is up 
so hopefully to make it interesting for you guys and once I get my license tomorrow maybe I will make an effort to do some more things and see some cool stuff um, and go places rather than just being at home because I work from home so it can get pretty mundane but yes we will see I'm trying not to get too attached to the outcome of the test tomorrow rather than trying to stay present and not thinking about the cost of it or the possibility of having to do it again so I I hope you enjoy these vlogs um, the voiceover thing will probably be a little bit interesting and it'll take a little time to get used to but for me yeah <laughs> enjoy and I'm sure I'll touch base and share my thoughts on many other things throughout these 24 days after errand running and parallel parking practice, I said hi to Harvey, came inside, rehydrated, gave Boo Boo a massive hug, and played some weird footsie game which he seemed to enjoy. I was up behind the seat, but he was not up for that. Then it was dinner time, so I made O.D. Drea's rice and bean recipe from her cookbook, The Plant of the Table. I topped mine with avocado and tortilla, and then Skyped my brother, who's currently in Portugal. Then it was time for Merlin, which was magical and magnificent as usual. Harvey was extremely distracting, yet absolutely adorable, playing with this world map stress ball. After that, I picked up my shoes, went upstairs, turned on the light, and crossed off the rest of the things on my to-do list, and told myself I'd do the rest tomorrow. Took off my galaxy socks, my kind of flare jeans, and put my pyjama pants on. By that time, it was time for bed, and so I made some more weird faces at the camera, and then said, bye.